okay, it's going to happen. It doesn't matter when. And um, this is just the beginning of it. Welcome to Tesla FX. Make sure to subscribe and like this episode. I mean, I also am very for that they improve. I mean, Mercedes um, announced that they really want to go to EVs and uh, that's a good sign. And BMW is kind of in a, in a strange situation because they have their hardcore fans that are so much in the diesel and in the performance um, uh, division mm -hmm. of, of BMW as well. So the brand itself uh, is difficult to, to really go to EVs. But they already did great EVs before. Um, it, it's interesting they did this, the sportier one. I'm, I'm blanking out on the name, but uh, I4? the i4, yes. Also, the i3 was a great, great car because they it was carbon fiber. They really took the time to really de redesign the car for yeah. the electric drivetrain, and this was a total success. But now with <laughs> that they don't have a frunk to to keep their option open should we put a, a internal combustion engine inside or not uh, what, what do we do so so i don't really like their their um that they don't really push it even further than this and maybe show show a performance car a, a faster performance car for their audience that they see look here's an electric car that's way faster also has the bmw drive feeling and we will see how 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 this will unfold and um But you're right. I, I also hope that the that the German brands uh, keep can keep up and actually keep up because the last thing we need is a mo monopoly in 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 this exactly. as well. And and It's never beneficial. Never beneficial for the market and for the consumer as well because then prices can just go up and up and up. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. that's that, 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 that's probably also why uh, Tesla is going to license all the whole FSD technology. Mm -hmm. It's the, I think that's one of the reasons that they're going to do that. Yeah, then they, uh, they have to get regulated because when they have the single monopoly, then then it's dangerous. And then they also know that then the lawmakers will step in some someday. Uh, they knock on the door and say, okay, we have to uh, split you up in, into different divisions. That's true. One other thing, uh, Florian, you went to the US, right? Uh, if you, I think it was uh, half a year ago or, or a few months ago somewhere, I've, I've read something that you've tested FSD there. Well, the uh, uh, case went to uh, ah, case my co-founder. Okay. So, yeah, yes. Ah, yeah, with the co-founder. Sorry, yeah, I've mixed that up. But yeah, exactly. how was, was it? How... Almost a year ago, Matt Smith, he um, offered us to drive his car for a week. We did a lot of driving in the Detroit area and also were dirty Tesla. We've driven in his area mainly for the first couple of days and we were really blown away by some of the situation it handles perfectly. For instance, you drive into a su suburban area mm -hmm. and there's this postal van, like a, the DHL van. Yes. And there's a lot of leaves in the middle of the road, no lane markings and also oncoming traffic. And the car decisively maneuvered in between and, and violated some rules where it should have waited but it 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 displayed really human-like behavior and mm -hmm. at times it was painstakingly slow and i'm really focused on my surroundings all the time and i don't want to annoy other drivers so yes. i'm mm -hmm. i hover with my foot over the the, the throttle because if, if it goes too slow i just intervene and go on but mark is really good at this and he doesn't mind uh, what happens around him and he let the system drive on its own and make mistakes it sometimes made mistakes where you think this is not safe but in 80 percent of the times it was amazing and that was already a year ago and they've yes. changed they've overhauled the system completely uh, there's still some big steps to take but for me was the best part the city driving That's really difficult. In a city like Chicago, it will drive on bus lanes. It will run red lights. And now it does it less and less. But if you drive on the highways, there could go three hours without any intervention. That's a big step because just like in your country, the same applies to the US. You need to drive long distances. You'll get tired. You'll make mistakes. Yes. Um, and that's where it plays a big role in, in safety. But also, this is this is a really easy operational design domain where a system like this almost for 99% works, mm -hmm. and that's where the, the well where we're going to see the first productivity output increases. Uh, those long commutes, or maybe yes. especially for the Tesla Semi, it could do the the big hauls of of, of transportations, and then only the last mile delivery needs the hurdle needs to be taken. But also for the city driving, it handles it perfectly. Not as good as a human would, but if it was like a human, nah, sometimes humans make 
terrible mm. uh, mistakes as well. Yeah, and I think um, also there plays a big role that um, when you um, have the, the Dojo computer finally also, um, then you have more and more the simulation of, of the scenarios and then you can really train the system because we've seen the FSD-12, uh, uh, yeah, how, how could you say, a test drive from Elon Musk or something that was uh, pretty uh, on X, pretty bad resolution. And uh, yeah. I, I was hoping that next time he can just take dirty Tesla with him and he gonna record everything for him or something. Better setup, yeah. Better setup. And uh, there you could really see, I mean, uh, FSD didn't really made the car slower, but didn't really stop at stop signs, for example. And this is something humans almost always do. We, we never really total stop at the stop signs. It's just like a creeping forward. And then we're going to stop if, if traffic comes. But um, I think then Dojo will be very important to train the system again with simulations, even though that's stop at a stop sign, stop at a stop sign and do it exactly. all over again. Imitate human behavior more and more because also in that same video, it slows down for a speed bump. And now it doesn't recognize the speed bump. It just goes over on the set speed. And that those human-like behaviors, uh, those will, will make the, the ride even more comfortable than it is right mm -hmm. now. No, well, yeah, that's totally. the whole prom that's the whole promising part of v12 i mean it's 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 there's no code in it at all it's so it's yeah. it's perception it's just what it's the, crazy, the, the, yeah. the way we humans learn as babies as well or as small adults so um that's that's the promising part of it and that's also why there uh, i believe there is no uh there's no bottleneck anymore mm -hmm. i mean it's already solved the, the, the only yeah. thing that we need is 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 more data Training. and more more compute, uh, mm -hmm. but the that that's that's even though it was a, a bad resolution and not a good setup, mm -hmm. it was a, a breakthrough moment to see that this was just all based on photons in and output out. I mean, it's no no code at all, and that's that was the breakthrough part of it, uh, yeah. and it showed how how uh, how easy going it went and. Of course, it still made some mistakes. I, I believe he had, had to do one intervention yeah, in, the, it, in that. He uh, yes. wanted to run a red light. Yeah. Didn't understand. Uh, but for a 45 minute drive with one intervention, I mean, it's amazing already, of course. Yeah, I also thought that uh, it was a total breakthrough. Maybe, uh, Friedrich, uh, you've also seen maybe the video or, or seen that. How, how do you feel about the, the FSD 12? Yeah, I would. I would love to go to the US, uh, to the US, and test it by myself. And I, uh, I, I need to do it uh, to be honest, because uh, that that gives gives you a lot of energy if you're working on a project like this, you know, to see. As mm -hmm. it is. But in general, um, my my view on this uh, is is quite like it. There will be it will be like a chat GBT uh, moment. So it it won't be like. Uh, it will be announced that it's it's now done, and then there will be a couple of versions, uh, you know, and then everyone can wait for it, and then it's deployed, boom, and then it's there. It it will be out of nowhere, you know. It will be just one one update that might come, you know, FSD twelve point six dot eight, whatever, and then it's it's like a human. It's better than it's better than a human. And from this point on, there will be no questions anymore. Like. Um, Okay, it works in the U.S. where you have big highways, but how 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 will it work in small cities in in Italy? Because it's it's better than a human. So if a human can do it, right, drive in the U.S. and people don't understand this because the the mm -hmm. the the human we as humans we have we are, we we are great we have a great you know engine running, but it's really bad in exponential growth. You know, imagining mm -hmm. it. And we have our limitations, and that's one of them. And that's why everyone is, you know, having these doubts and and uh, and all of it. But um, I, I always remind myself, if I would, uh, you know, call my grandpa, uh, who is unfortunately dead for for for, for a couple mm -hmm. of years now, and say, uh, you know, and, and then back in the 1960s, and tell him, hey, I have a I have a thing in my hand where I can show you everything, every data point, every information you want within a second. You can listen to any song to. They will, he will be like, yeah, right. And it's the same. It's the same now. If you show people, if you tell people, hey, there is a, you know, a Tesla can pretty much drive on itself in the US. They're like, yeah, right. And then you <laughs> you show them, you know, one of those videos from Dirty Tesla, whatever. And they're like, no way, that's not that's not real. <laughs> like, yeah, that's right now. That's right now. And and this is the same same story. So this is uh, you know what I always you know remind myself on on a 
on a day where I doubt the stuff and then it's, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. It's going to happen. It doesn't matter when. And, um, this is just the beginning of it. Yeah. I mean, FSD 12 was this moment for me, like, okay, now we are close. It's getting closer and closer. And this is a, this is the, the, the switch. They, they, they flip the switch now to, to this newer system. Now is the time where, where we see it more and more and the improvement will be exponential. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.